So I'm gonna walk you through the basics of getting started with Instagram stories. So as you can see here, I am inside the Instagram app and to access stories, you're gonna hit at the bottom left-hand side, the home button, the one that looks like a little house. And then at the top left, you're going to see a camera over here. And as you can see, the camera just brings up my computer. If I were to turn the camera around, you can see me. <laughs> hey, everybody. So one of the really cool features about Instagram stories is that you can record stories and videos and all that sort of fun stuff. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually gonna hit the record button so that you guys can see exactly what happens when you record an Instagram story. Now Instagram stories when you're using video are 15 second clips that you can then splice together to create a story storm. So as you will see right over here, you have multiple stories starting to show up as I'm hitting the record button. And so once you go through and you record all the content that you want to record for your Instagram story video, you'll then hit the stop button. Now that I've hit the stop button, what you can see is these are the different replays of content that I just created. So for purposes of this training, I'm just going to do some basic stuff to this that I highly recommend that you should include on every single Instagram story post that you do. So we're going to go into this little tab right here that looks like a sticker. And as you can see, there's a lot of different options here. There's emojis and all that sort of stuff. So I highly recommend that you grab a GIF. So you can just put whatever, you know, Tuesday vibe, something that's fun here. I also absolutely recommend that you include hashtags. So we'll put hashtag Instagram training. So you can plug that in on there. And then I also recommend that you type something or create some sort of visual that talks about what you're talking about in this story because not everyone watches stories with sound on. So I absolutely recommend you go through and you add those things to each one of the three stories here. So once you go through and you do that, you're gonna hit the next button and then you would hit the little button that says share. So you have the choice, you can add it to your Facebook story and your Instagram story you can turn it off altogether or you can turn it off just one time. You can also share it with groups of people. For purposes of today, I do not wanna actually share that, but as you can see, it's very simple to just go through and add the different elements that are here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk you through all of the different elements in just a minute that you can use, but these are the basics that I recommend for your video and photo Instagram stories. So the next thing that I highly recommend that you do is you can go through here at the bottom and there's lots of different options. So you can do a live, as you can see, I'm there live. You can go through this create option, which I actually think is a really, really cool option. And this create option has stuff where you can add text. So let's put insert. Here. And at the top, you can change the different types of fonts simply by clicking on it. As you can see, it changes the text. You can also go through and adjust the size on the left-hand side with this little sizer piece here. You can also invert it so it swaps the color. And then my favorite tool is this little color picker. So you can then scroll around to wherever you are to create and get that color to match. This also works for pictures, so that's something that's really helpful to make sure that everything's cohesive for your brand. So once you put your text on here, you're actually gonna tap again on the A button. That gives you the ability to move it, make it larger or smaller, simply by putting your fingers on it. If you want to go through and add more text to this, you simply add the text button and then you would insert more text and then go through the same process 
to add that text. Again, you can also draw on this simply by hitting the little button at the top that looks like a squiggly line and you can make it larger or bigger. You can also change what the type of pen that you're using is here to create different options for that. So once you have that all squared away, you can then add that to your stories. That's how you would go ahead and you put copy up there on your Instagram story. So once you upload that, you can go back under the create button and under the create button, there's a lot of different options now. And so this is like a great way to upload stories if you don't necessarily want to be talking to the camera. So you can put happy birthday and you can do different happy birthdays and it'll say thanks and happy anniversary and all different things. All you have to do is hit the dice at the top and it'll give you some different options there. You can slide under the GIF so you can add a GIF to your story. You can do all of these different fun things that they have. So like a draw challenge or types of pizza, top three accounts to follow, et cetera, et cetera. So that's really meant to create more engagement. You also have your history as you can see here you'll see some history from my instagram you can ask a question some of which you can input yourself or you can go through these and kind of use what they suggested this is great for business if you want to like poll and get feedback same thing with ask me a question so basically you can ask me any question and i'll go ahead and answer that they have added this donation feature so you can do this thing where you're donating to different people you can do this timer to say, hey, something's coming up. And then you can also play these games which have like different options. So you could say something like, you know, guess what color is my favorite color, et cetera, et cetera. And of course, with any of these create ones, you can tap to go through and grab different colors that match your business or your brand or whichever you like. I just personally really like the green color. So that's the one that I always default to. So that's under the create button. Now, again, we went through normal and one of the things that I think is important to note for the normal feature is all the different filters that they have. So, wow, that one looks a little creepy today, <laughs> but that's normally one of my favorite filters. I also like this one. It just kind of tidies up your skin just the tiniest little bit. You can also go filter free if that works for you, but they have lots of fun ones on there that you can leverage and kind of play around with, just figure out what works for you and what you like. And then you'd go through the same process. So you'd pick your filter and then you would push and hold that center button to record whatever content that you wanted to record. And when you're done, you just simply let go. And there you go. Um, again, you can adjust this by clicking on the adjustment button, which is the one to third one over. And that allows you to edit the clip or take things out, as you can see here, if you choose to do that. Some other cool features that work on everything that we've talked about today are A, the location feature. So you can click on different locations where you're at, which I highly recommend doing if you're a business or person who wants to like drive traffic or create awareness for where you're working. I also think the other one is the app mention. So for example, I have a loft jacket on today. I would tag them if I were creating this into a story so that I get that extra oomph in terms of reach. Again, you can add music, which is a really fun feature that they've done. So you click into there and you can select. Yeah, you got that yummy, yum, the yummy, yum, the yummy, yummy. So then again, all of this is under the sticker button. So again, they have the poll, they have questions, they have quizzes, they have all these sort of fun things. So I highly recommend just like get in there and play around because there is a world of content in there. And again, you can like draw all over the screen if you choose to and play around with it because this is how you're really going to master and get the most out of your Instagram stories. So the other features that you can access directly from this kind of station <laughs> inside of Instagram is the boomerang feature, which the boomerang is <laughs> 
sort of this fun little like gif that you make yourself. So those are really, really popular and you can create them directly from the Instagram story dashboard. The other thing that you can do is add different layouts. So as you can see here, you can go through all these different layouts. This is great for when you're doing just different things and you can add different photos across there as you can see. And it just, it's kind of a fun tool to utilize. The other thing is super zoom. So that would be like super zoom and all of these filters here are meant to like be another Instagram story feature where you kind of like zoom in and do different things. As you can see, that's a super zoom and zooming in on my son's picture. You can also go hands-free, which is exactly like it sounds. Essentially what you would do is you would tap the button to get it started. And as you are sitting there and you're talking, you can use both your hands. You don't have to keep holding on the button to get the video to go. I really like this feature for when you're trying to explain something or you wanna put your phone down and talk somewhere else. And as you can see, it keeps going past one story. So I believe now, as of today, the current minimum is four different stories that you can do at one time before it stops recording. And so I like the hands-free feature. It's a really, really easy thing to use. So I'm gonna hit the stop button right now just want to bore you guys with that. And those are all the different features inside of your Instagram story dashboard. So I want you to go ahead and have a lot of fun creating Instagram stories. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions for getting started with Instagram stories. And I'd love for you to drop your Instagram handle in the comments so we can connect. Thank you and have a great day.